Kia ora, and welcome to another lesson with me, Mr. Wilson. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the cosine rule. So the cosine rule, like the sine rule, relates to any triangle. And we label that triangle side A, opposite angle capital A, side B, opposite angle capital B, side C, opposite angle capital C. Remember, they have to be opposite otherwise your formulas will not work. So there's two versions of cosine rule. One that we like to use for length, which looks like this. So length, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. And one for the angle, which is cos c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over 2ab. They are both the same formula, just a slight rearrangement of one another. It's just to make life a bit easier, we have our length formula with our unknown being the length on the left hand side and our angle formula being the unknown angle on the left hand side, just so we don't have to do some more rearranging. So let's put this into practice. First of all, let's have a look at a length question. So with this triangle, I'm going to label my unknown side C and the other two sides A and B. Either way around, doesn't matter, but I'm going to call 12A and 14B. The angle that is opposite my side C is capital C. So let's put this into the formula. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos C. So my C is X. So x squared, my a is 12, 12 squared, my b is 14, 14 squared, minus 2, lots of 12, and 14, cos of my capital C, which is 81. Okay. At the moment, I'm calculating x squared. Obviously, I want to find out what just x equals, because that's my side. So x is equal to the square root of all of that, 12 squared plus 14 squared minus 2 lots of 12, 14 cos 81. And if I type that all into a calculator, I get the length of the side as 16.9 centimetres. Okay, do you think you get it? Have a go at this question here. So pause the video and I'll be right back. Hopefully you've had a good go at that question. Let's see how it's done. So the unknown side, okay, C, angle opposite, capital C, either side, A or B, doesn't matter which way around you do it, but I'm gonna call this A, and that side, B. So my formula is gonna look like x squared is equal to eight squared plus five squared minus two, lots of eight, lots of five, cos, 43. To get x by itself, I'm now just going to square root all of that. So 8 squared plus 5 squared minus 2, lots of 8, lots of 5, cos 43. Type that into your calculator to get a length for x as 5.5 meters. Did you get it? Hopefully you did. If you didn't, have another go, see if you can get your head around it. But now we're going to have a look at using the cosine rule for an angle. So, same process, label up your sides first, but this time I've got an unknown angle, so I'm going to use a capital C for the angle, which means the side opposite is lowercase c. Those are the only two important pieces of information, because A and B can go around either way, but C and lowercase c have to be in the right space. So. Let me call this A and B. So my formula for the angle is cos C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2AB. So let's do some substitution. So cos X is equal to 3.6 squared plus 3.9 squared minus 2.3 squared all over 2 lots of 3.6, 3.6 3 
3.9. Again, x isn't quite by itself yet, so I still need to take some rearrangement to find x on its own. So I need to do the opposite of cosine, which hopefully you remember is inverse cosine. So I'm going to do the inverse cosine of 3.6 squared plus 3.9 squared minus 2.3 squared all over 2 lots of 3.6, 3.9. Type that into my calculator to get an angle of 35.4 degrees. Do you think you get it? Have a go at this question here. I'll give you some time, just pause the video and I'll start again soon. Hopefully you've had a good go at that question. Let's have a look at how to get the answer. So, first of all, label your unknown angle C, side opposite, low case C, most important bit. The other two sides, A and B, in either order. Now putting it into my formula, I get cos x is equal to 10 squared plus 14 squared minus 8 squared all over 2 lots of 10 times 14. Get x by itself, all I have to do is inverse cosine of 10 squared plus 14 squared minus 8 squared all over 2 lots of 10, 14. To get an angle for x as 34.0 degrees. Hopefully you understood this video and now everything makes sense. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.